Folks, I put up a flagpole down on the dock. Got me a flag. And also, I think I need to give y'all a better boat tour because that last one I did really wasn't that great. So let's do a boat tour. Okay, folks, the first thing, I did get my parts in the mail and uh, replaced all the parts in the water pump, the impeller, and the stuff that I had bought for it. So I got it back together and I cleaned the boat out. Yay, last video you saw leaves was everywhere. But I got this boat cover, this I made. This was a tarp, a 20, uh, what was it? Uh, I don't know what it was. I don't know, but it was, anyway, I made it. I cut it down um, so it would be just a little bit wider than my boat. And I put some eyes, I got a grommet set and I put eyes on it. So it doesn't hang over a whole lot. I can go down the road with this cover on here and these bungee cords and it stays on and it's tight so water runs off of it i only have a little bit of standing water that sits right here in the back on that back corner and that's it um, other than that that keeps all the uh rain and leaves especially out of the boat so let me get the cover off real quick and we'll uh look at this boat a little closer than we did last time Okay, this is a 16 foot Fisher, uh, aluminum, flat bottom boat with a V point. As you can see, it's pointed at the nose until it gets about right there. Then it starts to be a flat bottom. It's an older boat, it's, it's pretty old. I got some LED lights up here. We saw those already in the last video I think but anyway what I really wanted to show y'all folks is this is a clean boat I cleaned it I cleaned it out got it all cleaned out this right here for the trolling motor when I get ready to use the trolling motor I just plug it in right there I got electricity up to here it also runs the uh, this light my navigation light and my LEDs if I run at night and to, the way you get this trolling motor up is to just pull on this. That does that latch right there. And you can lift it. And, uh, yeah. Then it goes down into position like that. It's hard to do one handed while I'm holding the camera. Anyway, that's that. That's how that goes and here's my my extended platform that I put because that up there is not big enough for my lawn chair I prefer sitting in a lawn chair because um, it's more comfortable for me to fish from the lawn chair than it is to sit from uh, to fish from one of the pedestal chairs one of those kind of chairs like that it's more com it's more comfortable sitting in a lawn chair than it is there. moving right on back I have my uh, fire extinguisher right down there as you can see right there and uh, over here on this railing I have a tape measure a, a flexible sewing <laughs> tape measure glued to the side of the boat so I can measure my fish now it's kind of dangerous using this because you're, you're holding a slippery fish and you're measuring him right next to the edge so a lot of times what happens is the fish will jump or whatever and if you don't have a good uh, hold to him he's right back in the water so but anyway I gotta measure my fish so I can keep them up here I got my blue cup holder and uh, put my wallet my keys and my cell phone whatever I want to some tackle and things in there or uh, I can put my cell phone right there and that little that used to be a, a, a holster that's an old holster 
that I had just like this for the uh, otter box for my iPhone but the belt clip part broke so I took that part off and I just ground it down flat and I glued that to that dashboard with some amazing goop that's some good stuff I'll tell you what amazing goop and here's my little solar panel that I use um, when I'm playing a radio or running a trolling motor or whatever I, I'm doing I hook that up to the battery with those clamps now let's move back uh, let's keep on going back here's you know one of my seats these seats fold up and they're just you know they're kind of they need a little clean in themselves but there's storage under each seat and then I have the uh, the live well in the middle and uh, let's move right on back uh, if we go back here there's a cleat here that I use I can tie off stuff to or anchor or whatever and there's another one on that side there's also one on the front right up there and I have right here what I have is I have a hasp made from stainless steel on each side on this flap right here is an umbrella bracket I can mount an umbrella right here in this bracket now let me get my key out and I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna go under here this is something we didn't do last time in the uh, video oh I almost forgot I've got these D rings right here that I use with ratchet straps and I can strap things down back here well especially I strap down back here is uh, my cooler or my boom box okay whoops alarms went off hang on I gotta okay if we go in here we have our fuel tank which holds about six gallons or five gallons that's five gallons and I have a reserve that I usually carry with me just in case I'll have an extra gallon in that in case I run out in that one uh, down there is my bilge pump if any water gets in here it pumps it out right here on the side that hole it pumps it out there and uh, that yellow pump in there is the pump to the live well which it's bypassed and the live well just takes in water from the back here out of this hole so if I want to use the live well as a dry storage all I gotta do is put a plug in that so and if I want to use it as a live well I just take the plug out and water will fill up the live well and here is a battery for the trolling motor the LED lights and that's it that's all that runs and then that motor over there I mean that battery over there I'm gonna trip over a brick this battery over here runs the uh, running lights and the all-around light which just plugs in like like that I've got one of these it's just a white all-around light and it plugs in down there like that and uh, you gotta have that if you're gonna run at night so and what else let's see uh, this is a switch to run the motor up and down we already did that we already went through my switches and stuff let's start the motor for you which that's something we didn't do last time right over here is a little catch that holds the motor up in its up position so it doesn't uh, put the stress on the tilt um, cylinder this is a, a hydraulic cylinder it looks like it's leaking a little that you that tilts the motor up and down and there's also a switch on the side of the motor to tilt it up and down besides the one on the dash so when I'm back here I can just push that button and it will uh, tilt down let's tilt it down and we'll start it up for you one time I'll be right back I'm gonna set y'all somewhere else oh, look out for that rope okay folks I got these this is what I put on my motor when I start it to add to a supply water to the water pump to keep it from overheating 
Now let me turn the water on and I'll start her up for you. Pump the gas bulb a couple times. Turn the key. get water on y'all. I'm going to rev it up one time. There's already water on you. That's a more complete boat tour than what I gave you guys last time. I uh, did kind of a crappy job on that last one that without cleaning the boat, get all the leaves out and everything. You know, that was just, you know, I went back and I watched that video and I was like, yeah, I, I should have showed them that and I should have showed them this and I should have shown that. Oh yeah, that's what I should have did. But I tell you, it's a 40 horsepower Mariner Tracker Pro Series 40 horsepower. It's a 1994 model engine, and it runs off of uh, non-ethanol fuel. It is a two-stroke engine, and uh, it, it's oil-injected, so I don't have to mix my oil. It injects the oil. As you can see right there, it says it's oil-injected, and I put oil in the cap up here somewhere. There's a cap. I put oil in there, two-cycle engine oil, and I always keep fresh fuel in there non-ethanol so folks I hope you like that boat tour that's probably a better boat tour with a startup a cold start and it's not that cold <laughs> it's just Florida but it sure is windy um, anyway I'm gonna cover it back up before it fills up with leaves because it's leaves are still falling leaves fall here all the time we got leaves everywhere bye folks <laughs>